Hi, this is Emily Brown. I'm a teaching artist at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here for Art in Action at Home. Today we're gonna to do a really fun project with watercolor and leaves, where we're gonna make actual impressions and kind of print with leaves onto our paper um, to make these really amazing uh, images and products. We're gonna have a really fun time. This is a really great project. For the project today, all we need are some watercolor paints, some water. I have two things of water. I have one that I can wash my brushes in and one that I'm gonna keep really clean. Um, a bunch of brushes with soft bristles for the watercolor. Um, some nice paper that won't fall apart when it gets too wet. Watercolor paper would be perfect. I don't have any. So this is just a nice thick art paper and this will work really great too. And then a bunch of leaves or plants that you can find from your garden. Um, weeds and soft leaves work really well. Um, buttercup leaves, dandelion leaves, um, anything like that is just perfect for this. Uh, okay, let's try. Okay, so the first thing we need to get started is a piece of paper. Here's my paper. I need a brush and some paint. So I'm gonna start out with a green because we're using flowers. So I'm gonna start with a green and then I'm just gonna keep adding water. And you can see it's a lot more puddly. You want it to be pretty covered with water. And I'm gonna go not all the way over the edge, but kind of close to the edge and then start adding other colors in there to kind of make it not just that one green. Add some blues, lots of water. It's kind of fun just to do a pop of another color, so maybe a little bit of red somewhere. Okay, so now I have my painting. Lots and lots of water on it. Make sure there's lots of water. Be ready to add more as you start adding leaves. And I'm going to add some um, buttercup leaves. So I'm gonna pick a leaf off. No stem, so it'll lay flat. And I'm just gonna press it onto the wet paper. And I'm gonna use my small brush just to push it down and get all the air bubbles out and get it where I want it. And you're gonna do this with all as many leaves as you want on your painting, on your print. Okay, now I've got nine of these done with their paint all the way done. I've got the plants pressed on them and now the hard part, I have to wait for them to dry and I need to wait for them to dry all the way before I take the plants off. So don't touch the plants until they're all the way dry, but if something needs to get pushed down or moved around a little bit, if the paint is still wet, then you're fine. Okay, so now I have taken the leaves off of some of these and I know it's ready and look how beautiful these are. These were Japanese maple leaves on these two and this one was a geranium leaf. It's a little bit more subtle but look at that beautiful texture in there. So all you have to do once they're all the way dry is just slowly peel the leaves back and you get these amazing textures and really really lovely compositions.
Okay, now you've seen one of my very favorite projects to do with fresh leaves and watercolors. I think it makes a really cool final product. Here's some of the things that we got. Some of these beautiful pictures. And I would love to see what you make. Have fun.